is Iram here for all to do with a new project to share. I have a new to me flower color combination to share with you. I was testing out artist markers and came up with this yellow blue green combination. I am using the same coloring technique as I did on my happy hearts card that I shared on the release day. Just swapped the colors. My card today features uh, quite a few alter new products. I will be using the mandala die, the happy heart stamp and die set, the dream big stamp and die set and the coordinating dies for the half tone hearts. I've already cut the mandala die. I'm sorry it's out of stock at the moment in the store. I'll be cutting a heart frame with the help of half tone hearts and this is how it will look. What I'm going to do is adhere the heart frame to the mandala die cut. I'm sticking this on the center but you can do this more efficiently by adhering it in a way that you can get more lacy hearts out of it and not waste the beautiful mandala die cut. After I've glued the heart frame, I'll snip off the extra piece and I'll end up with a beautiful lacy heart. It almost looks like crochet design. Next, I'll pop some foam tape on this lacy heart and set it aside. I'm now going to stamp the images from Happy Heart Stamp Set with permanent black ink. I'll stamp several of these in one go so that I don't have to stamp more later on. Now I'll color the images with the artist markers. I'm going to list the marker names and numbers as I use them. This I'll do only for the first flower so please note them now if you want to. I'll start with the lightest yellow color from the summer afternoon collection that is buttercream. I'm going to apply this on areas where I think sunlight will fall. Basically this will be my base layer. After I'm done with the buttercream, I'll pick out the blues from Glacier Caves collection, starting from darkest to lightest, that is sapphire, Persian blue, Caribbean sky and arctic. When I'm done adding the blues, I'll go back in again with buttercream and blend the blues with yellows. Next, I'll use frayed leaf artist marker to add a bit of green to my flower. This looks so cool in person, the addition of green changed the look of the flower made it look a bit more tropical. It's unfortunate that you won't be able to see it clearly here or in photos but I hope that you try this color combination yourself just so you can see how awesome it looks. I know that color combination sounds a bit weird and you might think what am I doing with this odd color combination but um, I tried it out on a spare f uh, sheet of paper and uh, I was very worried at first but it turned out very good and especially after adding green it started looking very nice. I'm going to leave you with a bit of music. I'll be back as soon as the coloring process is over. Thank you. 
die cut the images using the coordinating dies, I'll now work on the card front. I'm using distress stains to add watercolor to my background. I am not going to watercolor the entire panel, just the area where I'll place my flowers and the lacy frame or maybe a couple of uh, splatters here and there. After the watercolor has dried, I'll add black paint splatters. Now I am going to arrange my floral spray by first placing the lacy heart and then adhering the flowers and leaves around it. I'm going to use the Dream Big stamp set and uh, stamp a butterfly which I'll color with artist markers in buttercream, warm sunshine and caramel toffee. This is a layering stamp set and you can stamp yours instead of coloring. It is totally up to you. I have die cut this with the coordinating die and will pop this on to the lacy heart. After this I'll add a thin strip of sentiment that I stamped off camera. That's it, my card is almost complete. I'll pop a few sequins and adhere it onto the card base. I hope you like my project and the tutorial and I hope you'll try this uh, odd color combination. I would love to see if you do. Thank you for watching everyone and thank you for the likes and comments. See you soon. Bye.